Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin Pierre. On today's episode, we've got another sample Saturday for you. This time again, we're going to check out some old and rare vintage samples that Mark Littler sent me uh, a while ago. A massive selection of these. I've still got loads on the shelf to go, so hopefully, you're enjoying these little videos. Always enjoy a little thumbs up if you are. Um, but the whole point of this is to check out some auction bought older samples, some cheaper, some not so cheap, but usually got you know some kind of rarer whiskies uh, and that, I guess the whole point of this as I've said on all of these videos so far is that they might seem expensive for a sample size bottle like you know we're talking 10 20 30 quid sometimes but if you were in a whiskey bar and you saw a bottle of this on the shelf and you asked how much a drama that was and they said 10 20 30 quid you might give it a go, you know, because it's a rare whiskey you're probably not going to get to try again. So it's worth checking out your local auction sites for these sorts of samples and just tacking them onto your order if you've got a bid in somewhere else and just trying some interesting stuff and seeing where it takes you. Now, uh, this is where the little um, barrel that I bought here falls down a little bit because these are the kind of thin medicine bottle hip flask style bottles. Um, and it doesn't really show up, but I'll show you each one in turn. Of course, you probably would have seen these on the thumbnail and in the description below, but um, I'll, normally this is where I would say there's more information in the description below, but this little trio is a bit of a weird one because um, on all of the other ones, uh, the guys over at Mark Littler sent me a link to at least one auction site where I could start my research on it. Um, this one didn't, these three didn't appear to be on it, so I've done a little bit myself, but very 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 little knowledge on any of these bottles so um, yeah if, if you know any better than me then feel free to enlighten me but really what I'm going to be doing today is the same as always with these is trying these giving you my first impressions like unedited unsheened that sort of thing and um, picking a favorite out of the three and we'll move on from there um, yeah let's see what we got um, all three of these are blends I'm sure uh, I've got two Gordon McPhail's and one whatever this was, this was like a Jag, James Gordon. I see a lot of Jag Gordon uh, online, which is weird, but yeah, it's um, that's what it is. Okay, first one then, here. Uh, and I should say as well, um, I, I've been following the mantra of opening these a little bit early. So I've actually, this has been a recording night for me. So I recorded two reviews before this and they've been sat there the whole time to try and open up a little bit and see what we get. Um, yeah, this first one then is Old Orkney. Uh, information on the bottle, 40%. It's got two zeros in inverted commas for some reason. Uh, the Islands Pebble Pebble Dram? That can't be. Because here it's like the D of the Dram is the same as the B of the Pebble. So um, maybe that's Pedal Dram, whatever that means. I don't know. Scotch Whiskey Gordon McPhail from Elgin. Almost certainly... I mean, all three of these are exactly the same colour, so almost certainly added colour, almost certainly chill filtered at 40%. Don't know about the age of this. A lot of these samples have been roughly 80s, so given the, the nature of these, kind of like, you know, this brown label, I imagine that's probably true, maybe even a bit before that, but the truth be told, can't tell. Um, probably an Islands blend, this one then. Okay. Um, I didn't know what to do with the order of these. I'm, this is literally the first time I've tried any of these. So I might have got these in the wrong order, but we'll see. Well, it's got a nice, bright, vibrant nose on it. Very floral. Hmm, let's try on the palette first and come back. Yeah, I mean, it's it's... It's fine. Um, let me go back to the nose then. I mean, yeah, the nose is definitely the show of this, uh, the, the star of this show for sure. Nice, fruity, floral. A little bit of kind of waxiness to it. Yeah, tidy. Let's go back to that palette. Initially quite thin. It's lost a lot of its sweetness to put in comparison to the nose. It's got more waxiness. On a little bit of that kind of floral nature coming through. On the back end, it's quite tannic in a, in, in a kind of like a, a musty barrel kind of way, not in a um, 
fresh oak or not in a kind of like leathery way. Yeah, like I said, it's just fine. Uh, the, the nose, without a doubt, is the winner of that. Um, the palette is is just fine. It's There's nothing more to say about that. Quick lens, as always. Second, then, awkwardly marked here. This is the Spay Cast. The original Spay Cast. Um, the, the little... There's your little man. Is he fishing? I don't know what he's doing. I think he might be fishing. Um, blended Scotch whiskey for James Gordon from Elgin, 40%. Um, couldn't find much information about this. I found a lot of spay casts on um, Whiskey Base, but they were like the 12-year-old version. So I couldn't find anything specifically about this uh, or the price of it. They, actually, this is the only one I think I found that's buyable today as a full-size bottle. But um, yeah, again, almost definitely added colour, almost definitely chill filtered. Okay, not a hell of a lot going on in the nose. It's very, this is very furniture polish. Maybe a bit of honey. Yeah, you know I like to go to the palette and then come back. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's start again. Yeah, the nose is um, the nose is pretty boring. I will say it's um, it it smells and tastes like cheap scotch. I will say that you know, like by today's standards, not it's not that's not really that fair because it isn't it isn't overly astringent, which I find a lot of the cheaper blends tend to be overly astringent, overly chemically. This one is not that. You know, it's got a little bit more maturity to it, if that's the right word. But there's just not really anything, not really anything there. It's, it smells like whiskey. It smells like cheap whiskey. It doesn't smell bad, but you know, okay. Let's try on the palette. Yeah, again, there's just like, there's just much of a much of nothingness there. To be fair, it. I can taste the alcohol, I can taste the wood. The wood doesn't seem to be giving much over. I mean, it's very, it's very, I mean, it's, it's definitely been a used barrel by, by many times over, I imagine. There's just, yeah, but annoyingly, there's not really much distillate character there either. But if it's a blend, I don't know how many different whiskies have gone into this. It could have just been, it seems like it's like, the, it, the sum of its parts have kind of muted each other almost. You know, not not a bad thing to try for sure, but it doesn't light any of my taste buds on fire at all. So, you know, it gets a, a few marks of being perfectly potable, but I, I, overly just pretty boring, to be honest. Yeah, if I, I didn't grade the first one. If I was going to grade these, I would say the first one is like a solid 5 out of 10. Um, the... Second one is, is getting on for that kind of like three out of ten. Yeah, fair. This last one then, um, this is the old Elgin, uh, what we've got here, fine old malt Scotch whiskey, eight year old, really fine print. Um, it's just Gordon Maffel basically. Uh, 40%. Yeah, this one here, I found a, a link online for it, it's selling for a hundred pounds, which is a lot of money actually. By, today's standard so I think it's like the age card is being played here but um, yeah I mean I don't even really know if this is a blend did it say blend on there anywhere it just says fine old malt Scotch it doesn't say single malt anywhere but pff, I don't know whatever man is uh, again lacking a lot of information with this again probably added color chill filtered that sort of vibe let's get onto the nose okay well, it's got some character, I'll give it that. I'm getting a lot of like, this is like reminiscent of like hedgerow. Almost like a, like a, like a blackberry kind of vibe, which is nice. You know, I like to get a kind of a, a fruity, uh, interesting nose. Again, let's do palette first again and then come back. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, that did something weird. Decision making on the fly. Let's go back to the nose and go, and we'll do it all again. Yeah, I mean, I can't get past that, that hedge row. That's really nice. It's got that kind of earthy quality to it, fruity, earthy. A little bit of acidic sweetness coming on with it as well, which I'm, I'm linking to that kind of berry vibe. Yeah, it's nice. I like that. Let's try again on the palette. Mm. Again, hedge for hedge, hedge rowy, blackberries, a bit of cask going on. At the back end, it does this weird U-turn though, and it sours out, but in a really nice way, in a kind of like a sweet and sour kind of way. It just goes and just switches round, and I, I, I forget exactly where on your tongue different bits happen, but it's almost like it moves around and changes on your palate. Um, I, I would still, I mean, probably only going to give that a 6 out of 10, to be fair, but, you know, I mean, clearly, usually at this point, what I would do is go back through them again, but now that I've graded them on the fly, I've almost given the game away about which one's my favourite. By far-ish, this one's my favourite, uh, and then this middle one's kind of my least favourite, but it's that's how these, these things go. As I always caveat with this, you can never really tell, because these have been sat around for a long old time, you don't know what's gone on. Uh, the feel level of these was pretty good, I will say. You know, they were right up by the neck. So um, we were getting some good, you know, not as much oxidization as could have been. You know, I've, I've covered some of these samples sometimes where they're down like this sort of level. Uh, obviously, I've had a bit out of that one, but they could be down like that. And then you, a real question mark is going to be put on it. So, yeah, if you are interested in checking out stuff like this, make sure you pay attention to stuff like that. Check out your feel level, where it is on the neck, whatnot. Um, you know, do a bit of research beforehand so then you know kind of what you're getting into. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're enjoying these style of videos still. We've got some more interesting stuff coming up. We've got some more blends, some more stuff from the 60s, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, keep it tuned and we'll do another one coming up soon. I'm going to enjoy this last one a little bit and I'll see you again on more videos coming soon. Cheers.